Gal Gadot, the face of DC Comics' Wonder Woman franchise, the most successful DC film to date, has reportedly threatened to walk away from the series. Her threats come after it was claimed that disgraced film producer and director Brett Ratner, who was accused of sexual harassment by six women, may remain connected to the film. Gadot had an option in her contract for a second film but was never locked into it. And so now negotiations are underway on contracts for the second film she is in a better position to debate the terms of the film, a smart move on the actress's part. Ratner's production company Rat Pack Dune Entertainment helped to produce Wonder Woman as part of a co-financing deal it has with Warner Brothers but now a source close to the studio has admitted that Godot knows the studio will ultimately back her as they cannot have a movie rooted in women's empowerment being part financed by a man accused of sexual misconduct against women apostrophe. To view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video now Godot is saying she won't sign for the sequel unless Warner Brothers dot buy spread out of his financing deal and gets rid of him dot she's tough and stands by her principles she also knows the best way to hit people like Brett Ratner is in the wallet she also knows that Warner Brothers has to side with her on this issue as it develops dot Ratner was accused of sexual harassment and misconduct by six women including actress Olivia Munn. His lawyer Martin Singer denying all the allegations on his behalf however Los Angeles Times reporter Amy Kaufman has reported that 45 more women have contacted her over Ratner's have all year following the publication of the allegations. All six women listed the alleged incidents of harassment, which span back to the early 1990s, Munn alleged that in 2004. While she was dropping food off to Ratner's trailer on the set of After the Sunset as a favor to a friend, Ratner asked her not to leave and began masturbating in front of her. On a budget of $149 million, Wonder Woman ended the summer by taking over $800 million worldwide. The film was also given a Rotten Tomatoes score of 93% fresh the highest of any DC Extended Universe film so far. But DC Comics is still facing an uphill battle with five future films already being given release dates, Justice League 2017, Aquaman 2018, Shazam 2019, Cyborg 2020 and Green Lantern Corps 2020, three of which still do not have directors. They have also announced the all-female Gotham City Sirens shifted focus to a film centered on Justice League Dark a team of supernatural superheroes who handle situations deemed unfit for the traditional Justice League, are working on a second Superman solo film which has yet to be greenlit and plan solo films for Batman, Batgirl, Black Adam, The Flash, and Nightwing. Looks like they may want to listen very carefully to what Godot is saying. Metro.co.uk has contacted reps for Godot for comment. If you've got a story video or pictures get in touch with the metro.co.uk entertainment team by emailing us celebtips at metro.co.uk, calling 020-3615-0741 or by visiting our Submit Stuff page, we'd love to hear from you.